Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is Friday. We finally made it through the week. Uh, Bitcoin's down a little bit today. Miners were actually up today, so we're going to take a look to see if maybe the miners have kind of bottomed out here in the last couple of days and what that could actually signal. We'll take a look at a story about Bitcoin, obviously, uh, where it might go down to a little bit more, I think. Um, we'll take a look at it. It's not looking great on the chart. But we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the miners, obviously, and then we'll take a look at the story and we'll call it a day. We'll make it easy. Um, talk about a little bit also as far as what I've invested in today, went a little shopping. We'll talk about that and then we'll talk about how far I'm down actually on the market since the peak. So let's get into it here. As always, not financial advice. You guys know the drill. I'm investing in the following coins and companies as always. Uh, full disclosure for you guys. And let's get into the Bitcoin first. So here's Bitcoin in the daily chart right now. It is at 28,742. In a previous video, which I think was done on Wednesday, I said that based on the way the RSI is acting, the price is acting, I said we're probably going to be going down. And we have obviously come down since Wednesday. Wednesday, we were about 29,600 or so uh, during the day. We did peak at around 30,259 or so, and then we obviously we've been falling here. The concerning part of this is we are continually touching our support line here, which is the green dotted line. You can barely see it here because we're kind of bouncing off of it right now. But that is obviously a concern. The more times we end up touching this line, the more likely we are to go down. And it does seem to be playing out that way. The other thing that I don't like on the chart here is that we've been kind of trading sideways here for the last couple, I would say, last week or so we were kind of trading sideways a little bit you can see here that we've been peaking at about 30,300 or so and then just recently we are like going off a cliff here it looks like in price uh, action daily and i wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see this where we fall back down we may go down to the 200 weekly moving average which is around i think 23 24,000. that might happen as we don't have any support after you know in this range here if we look at it going for far enough back I should go to a weekly chart here, but you can see here, I mean, there is just nothing here between like 17,000 here where we have a little bit of a support maybe here where we bounced off of it around 17,000. But prior to that, I mean, there just isn't anything unless we go far enough back to 2017 where we did have, obviously, and even then it looks like it was 17. We picked up, peaked at around 19,000, was closer to 20,000, but there is just nothing as far as support for us between that range here. So it may not be a good weekend or the next couple of months or so for Bitcoin if that does happen, obviously. But we'll obviously have to pay attention to it, see what happens there. Right now, we are just not looking good. Um, so, so that is for Bitcoin right now. Ethereum is doing the same thing. Ethereum is actually below 1800 right now. It's at 1742. It has also come pretty close to that bottom it reached here on May 12th which was right then it was, we hit a low of 1700 and we we're pretty close to that. You can see here how this one has also gone off the cliff here in the last couple of days. And obviously the RSI is still nowhere near where it was back on the 12th. It's even higher, but the price is way lower, which obviously as well, leads me to think that we're going to be going down lower in Ethereum, obviously Bitcoin as well. We'll see where we end up at. Uh, but I did go shopping a little bit today. Um, let's get into the miners and then we'll talk about what I went shopping and how far, how much I'm actually uh, down from the peak here. So let's take a look at the miners here. We got Bitcoin. Oh, that's Rivian. Let's take a look at the miners here only. All right. So here's, <clears throat> excuse me, Annie. Annie was actually, uh, we're looking on the weekly chart. Let's look at the daily chart here. There we go. So any was up 1.94% today to $1.05. It's down a little bit in the after hours, basically washed off all the gains that it had during the day. It's down to 103 right now. And we're seeing that we have kind of had three straight days in a row where we are green on it and going up in price. And you'll see this on some of the other stocks as well, some of the other miners. And I wonder if we possibly have reached a point where the miners may temporarily have maybe bottomed out and Investors are seeing that they are just way undervalued. A lot of them have more assets on the books than their market caps are right now. So I wonder if that's the cause for some of these miners going up. But we won't know until, you know, maybe a couple more days, a couple more weeks to see if there's an actual pattern developing here or not. Right now, it's maybe a little bit too early to tell. Argo is up 3.57% to $0.58 cents right now. You can see here it's kind of up a little bit in the last three days as well. Uh, last two days have been kind of flat. 
bit digital. You can kind of see this as well. A little bit more defined green uh, candles here. It's up 5.13% to $1.64. It's up a little bit more in the after hours to $1.65. Bit Farms last two days is up. Uh, so today it was up 6.98% to $1.84. Up another 1.09% in the after hours to $1.86. Clean Spark. Same thing, three days in a row where it's been going green while Bitcoin is going down. So it's kind of kind of a little strange there what's happening here. Usually these guys follow Bitcoin pretty closely. So CleanSpark was up 4.43% to $5.89, uh, down a little bit in the after hours to $5.81. Cores was up 3.36% to $3.69, up even more in the after hours, another 4.34% to $3.85. And here again, you're seeing that same three days in a row going up. And if we look at Bitcoin on the daily, you can see Bitcoin has gone way down in the last three days. It's gone down almost oh, almost $1,700 or so, uh, roughly. Uh, maybe $1,000 down from the last couple of days while the miners have been actually going up. Digihost was up nicely today, 14.47% to $1.82, down a little bit in the after hours to $1.81. And you can see here Digihost has been going up nicely for the past week, it looks like, for the past five days. We had a low here of uh, $1.31 and we're obviously up at $1.82 so we've had a nice run up here in Digihost in the last week. DMG, DMG is a little bit more of a mixed bag. We've had two good days on it last two days and obviously today was red so it's down 7.26% to $0.29. Cents. Hive, Hive has been going up in the last two days here. It's at $3.98, so, so it's up 5.29% in the day, up a little bit in the after hours to $4. And obviously we're seeing here a little bit two days of going up. Hut 8 was up 9.09% to $2.52, down a little bit in the after hours to $2.51. But you can see here again, three days in a row where it's going up while Bitcoin was coming down. Iris Energy, same thing, three days in a row of going up. So it's up 1.23% today to $5.77, up another 2% in the after hours to $5.89. And same thing, right? We're seeing that green candles happening here. Luxfolio, Luxfolio is more trading sideways for the last three days, but we did have a little bit of, a little bit of a bounce here from Tuesday or from Monday, what is that? Today's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, from Tuesday to Wednesday but it's down 0.63% to uh, 15 cents right now. Marathon, same thing again, three days in a row where we're green. Uh, it's up today 4.26% to $10.27, down a little bit in the after hours to $10.26. Mawson has been kind of trading flat here the last two days, down on the third day prior, so that was on Wednesday, it was down a little bit, but kind of trading flat, but still having green candles. It's up 0.95% on the day to $2.12. Riot. Here you go, same thing. Three days in a row where we had a green. Uh, $7.24 is up to right now. It's up 7.58% on the day, but it's down a little bit in the after hours to $7.20. And Stronghold is down actually today 0.33% to $2.89, down a little bit more in the after hours. But you can see here on the chart that it has been going up the last two days, and today it had a little bit of a down day, but it's been going up pretty much for the past uh, two weeks or so here last uh, 10 days or so on it. So I wanted to kind of show you guys that right now it's just too early to tell if the miners have bottomed out. But I think some investors are maybe just scooping up the shares of it because they are just so, you know, battled down from where they were. And it's just r ridiculous in my opinion right now on uh, where they are valued at. So maybe that's the case. We'll see what happens if Bitcoin continues to fall down even further. Will this also uh, trickle effect on the miners where they're going to pull back as well? We'll see. But right now, we're having a little bit of a decoupling between Bitcoin and the miners, at least for the past three days. Bitcoin has been falling down. Miners have been going up. So it's kind of interesting to see that. We'll see how long that continues on. Okay. Um, and then let's get into our story here. So this is kind of what I'm talking about here as far as Bitcoin. So Bitcoin faces resistance at 33K, support at 22 to 25,000. The volatility could rise, especially if another price breakdown occurs, which is kind of what I'm seeing as well and thinking it might happen. So here's the 200 day moving average on the chart. You can see this purple line here. We are obviously at around 28,000 or so. The average here would be on the purple line would be around, what is that? Uh, the average would be, oh, the low is. So the average would be around 25. We're seeing the purple 
line being 22,000. I believe that's the 200-day moving average on it. So that's kind of where I'm thinking we may fall. But here's the important part of it. So BTC was down about 3% over the past week and has outperformed most alternative cryptos, which suggests a lower appetite for risk among traders, which we're obviously seeing. Typically in down markets, BTC declines less than alts because of its lower risk profile, which is also true. The relative strength index on the weekly chart is the most oversold since March 2020. We talked about this in a previous video as well, which preceded a strong crypto rally. Obviously, this was back in March 2020. And we did see that we went up like 1,500% um, from the bottom there. I don't think we're at the bottom yet. I think we are going to be going down a little bit more. This time, however, the, de the deterioration in long-term momentum suggests limited upside in BTC, which I agree as well. And there is growing risk of uh, additional breakdowns in price because of negative momentum readings based on weekly and monthly price data, which is what I've been showing you guys here. If a volatile down move occurs, initial support is seen at 25,000, which is kind of what I agree with which is around the May 9th price low. There is also additional support at the 200 weekly moving average, which is at, which is at 22,000, which could stabilize price action. But obviously, here's the important part. A more conclusive downside target would be around the 17,673, which is kind of what I showed you guys earlier, which is roughly 78% of the prior uptrend from March 2020 to November 2021. And that is where we may end up having some support. But right now, I'm looking at the between 25 to 22, I'm guessing somewhere around there might be our bottom. If that doesn't stop or doesn't hold support there, we are possibly coming down to the 17,000 mark or so, which we do have more, obviously, support there. We can look at it here. Uh, let's go to the weekly chart just to make it easier. And you can see it here, 17,000 was last right around there. 16, 17,000, that's 19,000 on the top, but right around here, we do have some little bit of a support here. So we'll see how this plays out. Obviously, it's too early to tell, really. I think, personally, I think we are actually going to be going down a little bit more. Don't know how much more, but I am guessing that closer to the 25,000 range, possibly below that. So keep that in mind. So with the market going down, I've been trying to buy the dips as best I can. Um, today, I plowed in another $1,500 into the market. I bought some more CleanSpark, Rivian, BitFarm shares. I now have uh, 149 shares of Rivian, 1,000 shares of BitFarms, and 250 shares of CleanSpark. I'm going to continue to buy the dips as they happen. I think this is the best opportunity that we have right now as far as buying things relatively cheaply. Um, actually, I think a lot of these are really, really cheap. Rivian obviously is a speculative play, not a speculative play, but more of a long-term play, five to 10 years. It's going to take them a while to get up to speed with their production and everything else. So that's a long-term play. Kind of same thing with the miners too. The miners, I think, with the next halving event, with Bitcoin starting to pump again, they are obviously going to be going up much nicer than Bitcoin as we've seen historically. Bitcoin goes up 50%, the miners will go up 75, 100%, 150%, it all depends. So. I still own, obviously, Bitcoin. I still own Ethereum. I own other altcoins. But I do like the fact that the miners, when they do go up, they go up better than Bitcoin. So there's a little bit more of a reward for that. Uh, but the bad thing is, obviously, when Bitcoin goes down, they also go down more than Bitcoin. So that's kind of the currently part of it, I guess. As far as being down, I'm, I'm down about 200000 right now. That includes my 401k profit sharing plan. That includes, obviously, being invested in Hive as well. Hive was one of my biggest investments that I had. Um, that is down like 50000 from the high that when it reached $5 something last summer. It is down, yeah, it's like $10,000, $11,000 worth right now. And then the other ones were obviously Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum as well, and some of the other stocks, and my 401k. My 401k got clobbered uh, last year. It went from a high of almost 300000 down to 188000 So almost, almost down 50%. Um, it's down like 40-some odd percent right now, which is just crazy. So... I feel your guys' pain. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people that are in the water or in the red right now in the markets. The only thing I can say is I've seen this before with Hive. Um, you know, it went down to like three cents back in 2018, 2019, down to eight cents. And then it obviously went up to five dollars. So that's just kind of the boat that we're in right now. But the thing that kind of helped me out back then was buying consistently into Hive as the price was coming down, dollar cost averaging into it. That helped out tremendously. And I've carried that same mentality into this market here where I'm buying as much as I can on the dips. It's I wish I could buy more, uh, 
but I'm buying the dips as they happen and kind of trying to dollar cost average into it over the long term. I think that is the winning strategy. I think Bitcoin is going to do fine long term. We do have these obviously bull runs in bear markets and we're obviously in a bear market right now. I don't think we're yet in a crypto winter. We'll see if this actually extends out, you know, going 12 months in bear market. Then we could say that we're in a crypto winter. But other than that, if we do even fall down to 17,000, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we've come down to 3,000 in Bitcoin and then we've gone up to, you know, 69,000. So with the next having, I think we're going to be closer to 100,000 even maybe above that. But that's just my thinking on it. And that's not only my thinking, but also a lot of analysts think the same thing that with time, Bitcoin is just going to be more and more valuable over time. And I'm willing to perfectly sit here and wait while that happens. I'm not going to panic. I don't need the cash. I don't need anything else. So I'm just going to dollar cost average in. My financial advice is always, you guys, you guys do your own research, please. Um, don't follow anybody that's on YouTube blindly, um, blindlessly. And make sure you do your due diligence on anything that you invest in. All right. So we got obviously a long weekend coming up. I'll do a video on miners versus Bitcoin, see how they did today. Uh, for the week, I think some of the miners might actually be in the green for the week. Bitcoin is obviously going to be in the red, I believe. Uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see that. And then we'll see what else comes up. Obviously, next week we have Monday off, so no market trading on Monday. And then we'll start getting probably the production updates for May from the miners. Um, a lot of them have been starting to provide that relatively quickly within the first couple of days, which is always kind of exciting, but also a lot more work for me to do. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll probably post a video or two over that time period. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one.